Well, good afternoon and welcome back to today's video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me here today. This is actually future Tanner that is filming this the day this video is going up. I just real quickly wanted to give you guys an update on our trip that it is going very, very well. We are having so much fun trying all these new tracks out here, including the Knoxville Raceway last night, which was such a treat and a dream come true. So all that content will be coming out over the next two weeks. This video is all about the off day that we had after night number three in Humboldt, Kansas, and then the I-70 Motorsports Park over in Odessa, Missouri for night number four. So it was Monday, July 26, and we had a lot to get done on the race car and then also catch up with some stuff with the motorhome and the crew. And this first clip is actually pretty funny. I wanted to share it with you guys. We had to dump the RV and my dad wanted to show me how to do this because unfortunately, this is something that I do need to know for future. That goes in there. And then you run over and stick your foot on the hose. Oh. <laughs> Guys, we always say we're living the dream. This is not part of the dream, I'll promise you that. So now that I know how to dump the RV, another important thing we did on the off day was fill the toter home up with water and also the trailer. Between taking showers, running the sink, the toilet, all that stuff uses water. So we go through our 200 gallon tank pretty fast over the course of a couple of days. So we dumped the RV, then we filled up with water and we found the dump station and the water and all that actually right by the community pool in this little town of Iola, Kansas, which was super close to Humboldt. Then after those activities, we stopped by to the local Walmart because I had to run and edit a video and my mom had to get some groceries. And all of this is probably between 9 and 11 a.m. in the morning and then after after we completed that trip to Walmart, we ended up going to the laundromat and then the car wash to get everything all cleaned up, get caught up on laundry, get the 18T all clean, and that is where we pick up with the vlog. All right, well, we found a laundromat here in town. This is kind of the behind the scenes work that you guys don't always get the chance to see, but since we left on Wednesday, we have now been on the road for five or six days. So we got a little bit of catching up to do, then we're gonna head on over to the car wash. Well, my mom is our superstar for our team as far as behind the scenes things go, like, you know, getting groceries, doing our laundry, making sure everyone is fed. My older sister also helps a ton in all those areas. Now we just threw the most important item in the wash, which was my driving suit and everything I wear underneath my driving suit that protects me in case of a fire or any incident. And the Midwest is just so much different than the West Coast. I talked about the humidity and how we are just not used to it. On the West Coast, if you've never been out that direction, we just have a very dry heat. It'll be like 100 degrees and it feels really, really hot, but out here it could be like 80 degrees, but the humidity's so high, so we're all just sweating all day long. It looks like we've been in a swimming pool. It is just so much different, so it's important that every five or six days we try to pack as many clothes as possible, but we stop at these laundry mats and we kind of just regroup at different parts of the trip like we're doing right now. Next stop, though, will be the car wash. So we found what looks to be a pretty nice car wash. And this is right here on the main street in Iola. You can see here behind me. So we got the rig in through a neighborhood on a back road that we're able to kind of sneak behind the car wash and then pull in here right alongside. We're gonna unload, push around, get in one of the bays, and then I guess get to work. The 18T definitely needs a bath after three nights of racing. Carly, what are you snacking on before we get to work? Cheetos popcorn cheddar. Would you recommend it? should be in business.
So we are just wrapping up now here at the car wash. I do gotta give this one a great review because out of the few that we've been to since we started traveling, whether it was in the Northwest for our Speed Weeks out there, or like ASCS Speed Week in 2020, or this swing, or even Ohio Speed Week, with all the traveling we've done, this is probably the nicest car wash we've ever been to. So if you guys are ever at the Humboldt Speedway, come down to the car wash here on the Main Street in Iola, Kansas, this little town, there's not much here, but it's got like five or six bays. We just use these two. Wasn't crowded at all, there was really no one here. Each bay was super, super clean, and that makes it easy for us to do our job. So now we're gonna slowly start putting the car back together, then we're gonna start heading towards the next racetrack where we run at tomorrow, the I-70 Motorsports Park, a big racetrack, almost a half mile, and I'm sure we're gonna park outside the gates tonight and then starting to get to work with our maintenance program to be ready for night number four. Well, the 18 T's back in the trailer. When we are on the road like this, it's nice to get the car clean every once in a while and try to regroup the trailer and even the meal and the quad. It's really hard night to night to really clean everything properly and with how big our crew is, we just don't always get that opportunity. So to have one day off and actually kind of how this week is all scheduled out, it works out perfectly where we're gonna get to race a couple of nights, stop for a night and then race again, stop for a night and then keep on going. So looking forward to getting back on track. We're gonna finish strapping this down and then we're gonna head, I think we're gonna get on one of the interstates close by and start heading back to Missouri. Well, we have arrived at I-70, and this is literally my first look at this place. The Outlaws came here earlier this year. That was the only race that was held, but my first thoughts, and like my parents said, this place is absolutely massive. Definitely the biggest track I've ran yet in a 4, or I'm gonna run uh, yet in the 410. I ran the Lakeside Speedway over in Kansas City, which was classified as a small half mile in a 360, so I guess that would kind of go toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe with this place as far as some of the biggest places I've ever ran. So tomorrow night is gonna be absolutely a treat, but I think the one thing about this racetrack is probably how fast it's gonna be, just because it is banked. It's not very flat, it's banked pretty much from the bottom to the top. And now actually walking up this close to the track, you get an even different angle. I honestly can't believe how wide it is too. I mean, we went to some wide racetracks, but looking at the back straightaway here, the wall's not even straight, it almost has a little D-shape in it. And then that along with just this facility, I mean, the front straightaway's way over there, but the grandstands are very, very nice. They're like stadium seats, grass infield. Uh, I'm not even sure where we're gonna park. I'm assuming we're gonna park out here, but there's plenty of room. And I, I know this place has a little bit of a different history of maybe going through some different owners, but now it seems like it uh, has financial backing and it's now back to being a top tier facility. I don't know all the history, but I've heard from a couple of different fans why we've been in the state of Missouri at the Lake Ozark Speedway. But uh, like I said, we are in for a treat tomorrow night. It's gonna be a really, really fun vlog for you guys to follow along. Hopefully my GoPro mounts uh, can even handle the high speeds. They probably can, but here is one little last look at turns three and four. They're just finishing up some, some of the final preparations. Dad's cooking up dinner for the crew. Taking care of the crew, we are eating good tonight. I think the last wash day vlog that we had here on the YouTube channel when we were traveling was um, right before night number three of Ohio Speed Week when we had tri-tip. Tri-tip's one of my favorites. Hamburger's another one of my favorites. We're doing maintenance on the other side of the trailer. Sun's starting to set, it's starting to cool off, but what a phenomenal facility and a great parking spot we have. We're just ready to get tomorrow underway. So we're gonna eat dinner, finish up all of our activities, and then we'll end the vlog soon. Well, I figured I would finish today's video right out here by the I-70 Motorsports Park sign. I didn't realize how close this place was to the interstate. I guess that's why it has the name I-70 Motorsports Park. But uh, once we got to the racetrack today, obviously the race car was all washed and cleaned up from the car wash earlier. So we just kind of did a little bit of our maintenance. I know I didn't show you guys as much of that versus kind of the car wash and all the fun we had earlier in the day with the laundry mat. But to give you a little bit of a rundown on what we did, we had some tires to dismount other tires to flip to try to get some more life out of them. Also part of our maintenance was going through the engine. 
which that is so important because if you don't keep up to date with that, that's when you maybe miss something and if you have an engine blow up, that becomes even more expensive than maybe just spending a little bit of time. For example, we did the valves, we changed oil, went through and cleaned all the nozzles. All of that is so, so important. Another task that we went through since we are on a much bigger track and actually all bigger tracks uh, the rest of the trip ranging from 3 8 mile and larger is we literally went and checked every nut and bolt on the race car. It is very important when we're going to be going at the high High speeds we are that everything is put together properly and maybe on a small quarter mile you never want anything to come apart but on a smaller track or maybe back home it's not as big of a deal but when you're going 120 and 130 miles an hour I'll tell you I want everything to hold tight together I also re-greased the torque ball we went and put some different shocks on uh, also re-greased the bars and put in new bars for this larger racetrack so that was a little bit of what our maintenance ended up looking like tonight but also you saw my dad he cooked burgers for the whole crew we're always eating good out here on the road but we're ready to take on tomorrow it was a fun day hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed hanging out with us and seeing a little bit of what our off days look like because we do our maintenance we don't have any time to necessarily go anywhere else maybe a little bit later in the trip we will but on a night like tonight after running three days in a row we obviously had a lot of things to do on the race car to make sure it was prepared for the rest of the trip what a neat sign though we have here i-70 we will see you in the morning I think this place is gonna be different and it's gonna be one of the fastest joints I've ever ran. So I think after this, uh, most places are gonna feel much slower, that's for sure. So hopefully you have a great surface tomorrow. I'm sure the turnout's gonna be amazing. As I talked about, this facility is top notch and it's so accessible to the interstate. So I'm sure people are gonna be flocking in from all over the local area. So uh, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the rest of our Midwest trip with all the exciting content coming your way. See you all in the next one, deuces. Thank <laughs> you.